everyone welcome welcome back to the channel i am so happy to have you all here with me today and if you're here today for the first time welcome thank you all so much for stopping by and to all my returning subscribers i thank you all so much for your love and your continual loyal support to the channel i thank you all so much for your beautiful comments and the thumbs up and just about every single things that goes on on this channel. I see it all and I love you and I appreciate you all so much for your kindness. I hope you will continue to stick around with me. So today I decided that I will bring you all uh, some fall coffee table uh, styling inspiration for your home. So I will be continuing that same warm tone color palette as I have throughout my entire home. And I hope today's video brings you lots of inspiration and joy and love. Thank you all so much. We are not going to waste any time. We are going to get straight into today's video. First, I'm starting off the space with this DIY oversized vessel that I found at Home Goods. Did not like the finish, but I love the shape. So I took it home and gave it a new look. Next, I'm just adding some paper inside of it for some height. I'm adding these beautiful flax baby breath. Then I'm going to place two stacks of books vertically to the table. Over to the right front of the table, I'm adding three stack of books horizontally. On top of the books, I'm placing a vintage magnifying glass. Now finishing it off with this collapsible. And this is style number one. And if you're not yet a member of my YouTube family, please consider subscribing. I will be more than happy to have you joining us here. For this next styling, I'm starting off with this tall ceramic tote vase. And these are some oversized maple leaves that I repainted using the home decor paint in the Java color and I try to create a more sort of rustic dirty plum look. And I really like how they turned out. Next, I'm combining these dark plum ramosa leaves for some contrast. Also for a more fuller look as well. Next to the front left of the table, I'm adding these two stack of books. On top of the books uh, will be a flax wooden pumpkin. 
Next, to finish it off, I'm adding this ceramic tray with my candle and my wig cutter. And this will be style number two. Moving on with this color vase that I repainted and I'm going to add a bunch of dried uh, rustic roses to the vase. Over to the left rear of the table, I'm adding these sets of three taper candles for some height and some visual interest. Finishing off the table with a set of books for some contrast. Completing the look with a candle and a candle snuffer. Some storage boxes for some extra storage. And this is style number three. Next, I'm bringing in this rustic two-handle vessel. Uh, inside the vessel, I'm going to be placing these uh, bunch of paper and a glass just for some support for my stems so they will not be like moving around, give you a full and nice high-end look. I'm making a hole inside the vessel and that's where I will be placing the glass. Then I'm going to be adding to the vessel these uh, dark brown and cream eucalyptus leaves.
I'm adding these sets of wicker storage to the table and I'm not placing it directly to the center I'm placing it like a little slanted to the left next I'm bringing in just one book just for some height for my bowl inside my bowl I'm placing three acorns And I'm finishing it off with this marble tray for some contrast. And this is towel number four. next setting is a very simple setting for those who are on the simpler side I'm just going to be using a tray uh, for some contrast between the table and the vase and inside of the vase I'm using these rustic magnolia leaves Then I'm going to finish the tray off with this amber glass pumpkin and this brass tied knot. And this is your look for style number five. Now to the sixth and final look, I'm going in with this bowl of Spanish dried moss and I'm just going to place it right in the center. Then I'm going in with stacks of books to the both corner four corner of the table both vertically and horizontally Finished it off with this brass leaf bowl and this ceramic canister. And this is number six and final look. I decided to give you all a bonus styling and I'm just going to change one item to this table. I just want to show you all how just by changing one island can completely change the look of a styling. So I'm just going to be switching out the bowl of moss for this wooden dough bowl and stack it with these natural pumpkins. I hope today's video brings you lots of 
designing inspiration for your home and please comment below let me know which one was your favorite and continue to like comment and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please consider doing so for more content until next time this is aretha saying bye and i see you all in the next one Thank you.